All right, viewers, let's begin with the latest COVID cycle. Now, while most countries, some are going through the third wave, the others are waiting a third wave. India, with looking at a possible third wave, which is about to peak. Earlier on, it was India which was recording more numbers. But if you see this graph right now, and it's the highest daily COVID cases graph across the world, you can see how Indian cases, which were spiking earlier, they have started to come down. However, new infections in United States has started to peak. They are skyrocketing once again with viewers a daily caseload of 80,000. This is what the graph looks like. A month back, India was recording a high. Now India is climbing down while the United States of America is peaking with an 80,000 caseload per day. With that, let's quickly cut across uh, to the very latest coming in from the state of Kerala, where India is concerned. While other states are recording lesser numbers, the cases in Kerala are skyrocketing. The centre has now blamed the government, the state government of Kerala, for super spreader events. The state once touted for controlling COVID effectively, keeping deaths at a low and sending healthy people back home is now in the news for all the wrong reasons. Kerala now accounts for 50% of COVID-19 cases in India. If you see that in the country, whether cases are concentrated in a concentrated manner, but now there are 22 such cases in the country, where in the past 4 weeks, we have noted an increasing trend in cases. हमने आपको दर्शाया है स्टेट वाइज ऐसे कौन से जिले हैं जहां पर कि वीक ऑन वीक बेसिस पर अगर हम देखें तो पिछले चार हफ्तों में केसेस में संख्या में वृद्धि हुई है यह वृद्धि एक मान लीजिए कि लिमिटेड नंबर ऑफ केसेस से थोड़ी भी वृद्धि है तो यह कॉज ऑफ कंसर्न है जिसके लिए हम स्टेट से डिस्कस करते रहते हैं अ ड्रास्टिक इंक्रीज ऑफ केसेस हैज बीन सीन इन द लास्ट 4 वीक्स Documents accessed by India Today show Kotayam has seen almost 64% increase in cases in a month. Malapuram has seen a 59% jump in cases. Thrissur recorded a 45.4% rise during the same period. And Ernakulam has seen a 46.5% increase. India Today has accessed this letter that has been written by Union Health Secretary Rajesh Bhushan to the Kerala government talking about the fact that the central team that visited Kerala in the first week of July has made some observations about what really is going wrong in the state. Containment has to be improved in the state of Kerala. This letter also talks about the fact that certain super spreader events have been witnessed in the state of Kerala which has clearly led to the spike. In his letter, the Union Health Secretary says Kerala needs to do more in terms of containment. Home isolation cases, currently accounting for 95% of the active cases in the state, need to be done as per the guidelines of the Union Health Ministry. Bhushan also points out that between July 10 and 19, Kerala has seen a spike of 91,617 cases and 775 deaths. The centre says ramping up vaccination and reducing wastage is needed. Higher test positivity of 10.5% may require more stringent measures and restrictions. The centre says another problem in Kerala is non-adherence to COVID-appropriate behaviour among migrant workers. It says some positive patients have refused to get admitted to isolation centres and they need counselling. The centre has already sent a team to Kerala to review the situation in the first week of July. A team is being sent again. With Sneha Modani, Bureau Report, India Today. All right, let's shift focus now to the monsoon session. It was the eighth day, viewers, and the monsoon session was a complete washout. Same story, day in, day out. No work, all noise, most of it concerning the Pegasus scandal. Mirabai Chanu uh, for winning the medal. And it is successfully going to be e Adalat. So, uh, we are very close. Pandemonium, ruckus, and deadlock. Day 8 of the Parliament storm. No debate, only disruption. The Pegasus Snoopgate face off threatening to consume this entire monsoon session of parliament. 
लोकसभा स्पीकर ओम बिरला वॉन्ड अनरूली एम पीज फॉर टेरिंग एंड थ्रोइंग पेपर्स एट द शेयर एंड डिसरिस्पेक्टिंग पार्लियामेंट ऑन थर्सडे आसन पर पर्चे फेंकना आसन की अवमान न करना हमारी संसदीय परंपराओं के अनुरूप नहीं है क्या आप कल की घटना इस संसदीय गरिमा के अनुरूप मानते हैं क्या इसे न्यायोचित मानते हैं हम सबको सामूहिक रूप से निर्णय करना होगा कि हम कैसे इस सदन की गरिमा और सम्मान को बढ़ा सकते हैं The government tried to broker peace. Union Minister Piyush Goyal met opposition floor leaders in Mallikarjun Kharge's room over coffee. However, there was no assurance from the aggressive opposition which has been seeking a probe and debate on the Snoopgate scandal. It merely asserted that it was the responsibility of the government to run parliament. Why are you avoiding criticism? It is collectively for all parliamentarians an insult. It is collectively an insult for all parliamentarians, for the institution of parliament. What is the conclusion, friends? That they are not only hiding; they have much to hide. They have no answer. And I think there was a very strong conversation. The opposition also disrupted the speech of External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar in the Rajya Sabha. To our relations with the United States, when it comes to Quad, when it comes to Indo-Pacific. these are all our national choices which serve our national interest government while maintaining that it is ready for any discussion called the snooping charges baseless again unnecessarily a non issue issue bana ke itne sare duniya ke hazaron hazaron logon ka abhi aisa spying ho sakta hai kya there should be and what rahul gandhi talks he doesn't understand that is his basic problem The parliament hangama has ensured that there is no debate over the covid fight or economic situation it has also ensured passage of key bills without any debate with polomi saha in delhi bureau report yet today shifting focus to goa huge shocker coming in from the sitting chief minister mr pramod sawan where he retorted at the back of a huge crime that had taken place gang rape of two young girls of 14 years old on benelum beach in goa he says that teenagers should not be allowed on the state's beaches at night and that the parents should make sure that young teenagers do not go out on their own at night all of this coming on the back of 25th july where four men including a driver with an agriculture department posed as policemen and allegedly raped two girls after beating up the boys who were accompanying them the uski ka discussion hua tha और उन्हीं चारों लोगों को अरेस्ट किया है तुरंत अरेस्ट कर दिया है और उसमें से एक जो गवर्नमेंट सर्वेंट था उसको सस्पेंड कर दिया है मुझे लगता है लेकिन इट इज़ द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द पेरेंट्स ऑल्सो क्योंकि माइनर बच्चों को बाहर भेजते वक्त उतनी जिम्मेदारी उन लोगों ने भी लेनी चाहिए latest in the porn gate where shilpa shetty and raj kundra are concerned well the latest is that uh, the securities and exchange board of india has slapped a penalty of 3 lakh rupees on the couple and their firm vian industries over insider trading violations the sebi has conducted investigations into trading transactions that took place between september 1st 2013 and december 23rd 2015 the investigation has pointed to alleged preferential allotment of 5 lakh shares out of which 1.28 lakh shares were allotted to shilpa and raj kundra each the probe alleges non disclosure of transactions worth 10 lakhs All right this is days after the clashes between security of uh, Assam and Mizoram my colleague Ashutosh Mishra has reached ground zero tensions refuse to die down is what he's picked up now india today travel to silchar where several policemen are undergoing treatment after allegedly sustaining bullet injuries during the clashes the assam policemen have alleged that some locals from mizoram not only pelted stones but also miscreants fired at them with light machine guns from high altitude actually wahan pe to public ka thoda zyada गदारिंग था वो लोग हाउलिंग कर रहे थे तो हम लोग जाकर उन लोग को बोला कि आप लोग जर हाउलिंग मत कीजिए आप लोग चले जाए ऐसा करते करते हालत बिगड़ रहा है वो लोग पत्थर मारने लगे 
गाड़ी टूट गया ऐसा करते रहे हम लोग आ गए वो लोग वहाँ से पत्थर मार रहे थे हम लोग वहाँ पे बैठे थे अचानक वहाँ पे मीटिंग हुई मीटिंग होने के बाद अचानक से गोली फायर चलने लगी 48 was being admitted. Policemen was being admitted here, and uh, those who were having the major injuries, some of them were airlifted to Guwahati, and SP Kachar was airlifted to Mumbai accordingly. In three army ko operation kya hai? Immediately. Immediately. In uh, bullet nikala hai, or one patient who was being operated, he succumbed just day before yesterday night. Yeah. He was having abdominal injury. And multiple laceration, perforation of the intestine, and ultimately he succumbed day before yesterday night. Jairul Slam is amongst one of those policemen from Assam Police who received bullets and injury in the deadly clash between Assam and Mizoram Police on 26th of July. The bullet marks are alive, and so are the bullets still inside his body, which will be treated later in a surgery. The uniform. says the deadly clash and the scale of violence that was triggered between these two police forces at the border point here at silchers medical college these policemen who are admitted here for treatment after receiving serious injuries in the violent clash over the territorial issue and remember five policemen those who died on the spot one during treatment in this hospital and now these policemen are being treated at silchers hospital their uniform completely soaked with blood are still kept here they were doing their duty preventing law and order maintaining the territorial control of the state but several reasons and several claims but what led to the clash between two forces and that resulting death of five policemen from a sample police on the spot one later during the treatment here these policemen are being treated assam chief minister hemant abiswa sharma has assured investigation and punishment to the guilty in the meanwhile to resolve the deadlock and the crisis between two state the center has also stepped stepped in they have called up the top officials from the both side the both state both the government but the situation at the flash point remains tense while these policemen the brave policemen who battled the bullet on that clash day are being given treatment in silchar with sanjay kumar i am ashutosh mishra for india today peers monsoon mayhem continues to spin together a deadly narrative of deluge especially in the hills of north of india heavy rains flash floods the deluge has caught north india by surprise several people are dead after floods wreaked havoc across himachal pradesh in the past 24 hours from lahol spiti to kullu to paddar reports of devastation are coming in many are missing buried under landslides most of them laborers the local administration has warned the tourists not to venture the tribal areas particularly the areas beyond sangla valley as the road is very precarious is dangerous boulders have been falling the local administration has now called scientists of the geological survey of india to find out the causes why boulders were frequently falling on the tribal areas similar scenes in jammu as well a cloud burst in kishtwar has led to floods in chenab river people were spotted seeking help after a bridge that connects their village collapsed the local administration are monitoring the situation to hum jo relief material red cross ki taraf se wahan pe le ja rahe hain isme hum mattresses le rahe hain ya solar lights le rahe hain और बॉकेट्स तो जो बाकी सामान जो है वहाँ पे 
और जो कैश असिस्टेंस वगैरह लोगों को वहाँ देनी है इसके अलावा जो राशन भी उनको प्रोवाइड किया जाएगा जो वहाँ एफेक्टिव लोग हैं उनके लिए सारा ये रिलीफ मटेरियल होम मिनिस्टर अमित शाह स्पोक टू जम्मू एंड कश्मीर लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर मनोज सिन्हा फॉर एन अपडेट मेनी टीम्स ऑफ द नेशनल डिजास्टर रिस्पॉन्स फोर्स आर इन द रीजन कंडक्टिंग रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशन वहाँ की लोकल एस डी आर एफ जम्मू में इंतजार कर रही है और जम्मू में हमारी एन डी आर एफ टीम पहुँच गई है और उसको अभी हम लोगों को लेके जाना है बाई चॉपर टू द साइट लेकिन बीच में स्टेट गवर्नमेंट का की कार्रवाई चालू है और मुझे लगता है कि कुछ लोगों का को बचाया भी जा चुका है और कुछ लोगों को कुछ बॉडीज निकाली जा चुकी है The worst may still not be over for Himachal Pradesh and Jammu. The Met Department has predicted widespread rainfall till Friday. Bureau report India today. Welcome back. You're watching a fact check segment where we bust certain claims masquerading to be facts on social media platforms and WhatsApp groups as an image. which you might have got on various whatsapp groups suggesting that muslims are offering azan in the ganga the fact check on that is false it's fabricated this image is morphed this video is from bangladesh nothing to do with india with that fact check time for us to go into a quick break but to stay with me on the other side it's to the point